Boy, please stop playing on your phone right now or I'll confiscate your phone right now. Alright, fine, fine, mom. Just just five minutes. Five minutes will do, please, and I'll come immediately. There we have it. A good example of us addicted to our phones. Good day, everyone. When we see the word addiction, alcohol, drugs, antidepressants, and so many more comes into our minds. No, no, no. We are not going to talk about these today. But instead, we will glance through three most addictive things that I have concluded, which will most likely affect us as students less productive and as well as procrastinating. Before even starting off with the topic today, we must understand what the word addiction really means. Addiction, according to Adam Feldman and medically reviewed by Dr. Alyssa Peckman from medicinenewstoday.com, is a psychological and physical inability to stop using a drug, or in this case, the inability to stop engaging in activities such as eating excessively, biting your fingernails, and so many more, even though it's causing us physical and psychological harm. First, watching your favorite TV series or dramas. Ever ran into a new Korean drama which you got so attracted and attached into it? Sometimes it's causing us as the watcher to procrastinate on our works. Drama Fever, one of the favorite websites among K-drama fans, streams a reported average of an impressive amount of 800 million minutes of content per month. But what really keeps us doing from the things we like to do? Well, this is when dopamine kicks in. Dopamine is a neurotransmitter produced in our brains, which is a chemical messenger between neurons. In simple words, dopamine is known as the feel-good chemical. The more units of dopamine released, the more pleasure we feel. Watch data and American Statistic YouTube channel shows that watching your favorite drama makes us, the brain, produce 81 units of dopamine as compared to falling in love. An impressive amount of 750 units of dopamine. Next, playing video games. Wouldn't you want to sit in an air-conditioned room after a hectic day of school? Text your best friend, Hey, what's up, game now? Within seconds, coming. And there you go. You will be screaming like a maniac in, in front of the PC for hours. Video games are designed and is to be addictive to get gamers hooked. Ken Dyer from GameQuickers.com says that video game addiction is a real mental health condition which affects millions of people around the world. People will have unsuccessful attempts to quit gaming, even withdrawal symptoms like sadness, anxiety, and so many more. After all, our brain actually releases 175 units of dopamine, the highest amongst the three activities I've concluded today. Third, last but not least, smartphones usages. Abrami Tevapalan from medium.com says that a study of 150,000 people found out that the average smartphone users unlocks their phone 110 times a day. Near Eyal, an American author also says that 79% of smartphone users check their phones within 15 minutes of waking up every morning. One of the good reasons why we do this is that we are being triggered. The urge to complete a habit. How many of us unlock the phone right away when we see a WhatsApp notification pops up? Or even anticipating your crush to reply on lame jokes? Well, in fact, our brain actually produces 122 amounts units of dopamine when getting a text from your crush. Well, to conclude today's speech, dopamine actually is one of the main causes of people having difficulties to avoid doing things they love to do, which eventually causes addiction in the end. Nevertheless, always remember to not overdo and overuse something, 
as it may become a habit and eventually an addiction. Thank you. Yeah, I'm lost.